later on if you want. <laughs> hey, uh, Governor Gavin Newsom held a press conference on the same day his administration lifted coronavirus stay-at-home orders across much of the state. Join us this morning with reaction is State Senator Melissa Melendez. Good morning, Melissa. How are you doing today? Good morning. I have my jacket on, so all good here. Uh, I'll pass that along. <laughs> I'll pass it along to Mark. Uh, okay. your, your reaction to, we got inkling of it over the weekend through County Supervisor Jim Desmond saying he was talking to people and you know, fly on the wall sort of thing. And sure enough, come Monday, we have a little bit of a rollback. Your thoughts? Yeah, I was hearing it all day, too. And you never know with rumors like these, but they tend to be true. So I was waiting for the announcement. I'll, I'll tell you, I'm frustrated because this state has gone up and down and up and down. We've had three really full closures since this all started. We started off, you know, in March, two weeks, flatten the curb. We got to early summer, we went to one system, we got to August, we went to another system, we got before the holidays, we went to another system, either it's color-coded tiers, or it's based on ICU bed capacity, or it's county by county monitoring. You cannot keep up. It is the most schizophrenic way of governing a state during this pandemic I think I've ever seen. And people, they want consistency, they understand that it can change. But this, you know, moving the goalpost every time you turn around, people are very frustrated, including myself. What? Because of the lack of consistency and, and also the data. I mean, everybody is quoting different numbers. And I, I could make an argument that we are in worse shape than we were prior to the Christmas lockdown. So isn't that at the one of the crux of the issues is everybody's quoting a different set of numbers? Yeah, everybody's quoting different numbers, except nobody's able to quote the governor's numbers because nobody's seen them, because he's not sharing them, because apparently it's too complicated for people like you and I to understand. Um, I disagree with that. I think he ought to show his work and let us know what he's working off of. He said the whole time we're going to this is going to be driven by science and data. Great. Show it. We'd like to see it. Well, there's a lot of smart people out there. I'm sure they can understand it. Well, if it's not being driven by science, could we be driven by other metrics like signatures or or pushback from groups like Let Them Play California? Yeah, there's a lot of parents who are angry, myself included. I've got kids in school who are just itching to go back. There's kids who want to get back to sports or people want to get their lives back. And yes, the recall and the momentum that it is gaining, I think certainly plays a role in this. I know the governor says that that's absurd. I don't know that I agree with that because it seems rather coincidental that now that we are approaching nearly all the signatures that we need or darn close to it, suddenly he's had a change of heart and is saying, you know, it's okay, it's safe now. Even though, you know, the ICU bed capacity in Southern California hasn't changed that much, he's saying, well, we're we're looking into the future into our crystal ball, and we think that the ICU bed capacity is going to be just fine in four weeks. Again, show us your data, show us your science, because people are tired of getting you know, jerked around and one week you're open, next week you're not. Well, that was the one thing that we were all supposed to brace for, the holiday gatherings that were going to result in this epic wave that was going to swap the hospital system. Even before the decision to roll back, did that wave, in your view, ever materialize? Did we have the hospital capacity, be it ICU or not, swamped? Well, we saw a little bit of a bump after the holidays, which was expected. But, you know, people have to remember that ICU bed capacity is almost always very high because it's not as though a hospital has 100 ICU beds lying around waiting for people to use. That's not how it works. They're designed, that particular unit is designed to be at or near capacity. So I'm just not sure what kind of word games he's playing here. Yes, we saw a little bit of a bump, but not not the the doomsday that he was suggesting and then now he's kind of backtracking on i guess because i guess the follow-up to that is my argument there is and okay then if we didn't see that big progression and we're, we're we're safe now to roll back a little bit aren't we then safe to roll back even more i mean instead of purple plus can't we talk about some other colors for a change <laughs> Yeah, I'd like a different color too, believe me. Um, I, I just, I, I wish he could stick to one sort of metric because it's very hard to keep up. But it's almost a year into this now. And, I, you know, I think it's time he kind of takes his foot off the neck of Californians' necks and let them get back to normal. And let, I mean, of course, people are going to be safe. They're, nobody wants to get this virus. Nobody wants to be sick or give it to other people. But, you know, it, I, I think he's... Like I said, uh, just a little schizophrenic in how he's handling all of this. State Senator Melissa Melendez, thank you for making time for KUSI. Where are you, by the way? Are you? Uh... I'm in Sacramento. Okay, so you're. Uh... Yeah. How's the weather there? You know, um, it's sunny and cold and beautiful. All right. 
Well, we sure appreciate it. <laughs> but I have my jacket. <laughs> I'll pass that along. Thank Got you it. for staying warm. We'll talk to you again, I'm sure. A new COVID-19 